What's going on guys? This is JT here. In this video, I'm going to be re-rolling reforged stones on all of my gear. Now this is going to be a long time consuming video unless I get super lucky because if you guys don't know, I have six pieces of gear and I want specific attributes on each piece. So I was like, you know what? Let's make a video showing everybody what we go with. The way I'm going to handle this is basically I'm going to start the reforge with these regular stones and if I get a max roll, for any of the stones i'm basically going to be piecing these out for i'm going to go with every single stone except for ravenger right and so i'm not worried about ravenger however i am going to go with every single other one so whenever i see a max roll with reforged stone i was like all right well i'll go ahead and go with that one whether if it's something that i want like if this dinner duration beneficial effect would have been three percent i would have went with that instead it's two percent unfortunately but that could have been used we got block chance that is absolute junk continual damage can go up to six percent so we do not want that are we going to get anything good from regular reforged stones Primary attack damage, if that was 4%, we could take that 5.5% fear resistance. Unfortunately, that goes to 6%, so we're not going to keep that either. Goodness gracious, no love from the reforged stones. Boys, come on now. Show me some love. Cheat death by 4.5%. No, thank you there. All skill damage at 2%. All right, there is a start, and that is a start of wildfire. So now within wildfire, I am looking for primary attack damage and damage done to enemies. So I need very two specific ones. If I got crit damage at max amount, I could take that, but honestly, I don't think I want to go with that either. Damage below. What is, the, uh, what is this actually? What is that max out at? That maxes out at 4%. So that's 3.5%. We need 4%. Come on, baby. Give us 4%. There's a 3%. See, we got quite a bit of wildfire here. Hill party members. We do not care. All right, there we go. Primary attack damage, 4%. That's what we needed. And now we just need another 4% on the final one. Uh, hill party member. Come on, give me hill party members, bro. It's just going to keep giving me hill party members over and over. Damage, 2.5%. We need that to be... 4%. Where are you at? 4%. Show up for your boy. What does the crit damage go up to? I think, I believe that's a uh, 4% as well on the crit damage. All right. So we got 3.5%. Do we want to give up there? Or do we want to go for 4%? I don't think we want to give up. I think we want to go ahead and get the 4%. Crit damage at 1.5. Crit damage. Is the crit damage 3% max? Yeah. 3%. All right. So we're just going to keep the 3% there. We now got the wildfire set. Let's go ahead and move on. To the chest piece, like I said, we're just going to use regular reforged stones and look for something at max and then kind of go from there. 3.5, we do want continue. Okay, there we go. Slow resistance at 6%. That is a max roll. So we're going to go ahead and re-roll these for jolt stone as well. Let's see, damage taken. So what we're looking for here is um, damage taken from players reduced, duration beneficial effects increased. One of those two is mainly what we're looking for. Cheat death. No, we don't care about cheat death. Duration increased by 2%. We need that to be at 3. No, thank you. Come on, baby. Give us some max rolls. We got 2.5. Of course, we have 2.5. Damage taken from players reduced by 5%. That's no good. We need that to be max as well. No. Come on, boys. Okay, there we go. We got a max roll on that. Now, the only thing left is damage taken. I guess we could go while suffering lost control. That is a max roll at 3%, right? Um... What do we want? We got slow resistance, damage taken from players, or lost control. Max is... Oh, no. Max is 4%. Yeah, we're not taking that, actually. That's a max roll on cheat death. Actually, I'm going to keep the cheat death there just to test out uh, some cheat death because I, I don't really have... I don't have that much experience with cheat death, and I wanted to test that out. All right. So, let's go ahead and reforge over this one. So, we got cooldown. No, we do not care about potion cooldowns. Damage to demons. That is useless as well. All right, now we're kind of getting down to the nitty. Oh, fear resistance. All right, well, now we got barrier with fear resistance. So we want to go with fear resistance. We want to go with maximum life and block chance. So we're looking for block chance and maximum life by, what is that? 1% is block chance. It's 2%, right? Block chance is 2%. Maximum life is 1%. So we need maximum life 1% and block chance at 2%. That's what we're looking for here. Damage from nearby enemies. We could go with that as well. Honestly, that's not that bad. Come on, maximum life. Get up to 1% for your boy. And block, bam, block chance 1.5. All right, now we're talking, baby. Give me the two now. Damage to undead. We do not really care about that. Maximum life at 0.5%. That is pretty useless. Damage to undead again. 
Maximum, oh my gosh, 0.5%. It's trolling me. All right, we got the max. Now we need maximum life by 1%. And there it is right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so now we got max rolls on barrier. So we now have a wildfire, jolt, and barrier. Now we are looking for, yeah, let's go ahead and roll with uh, vengeance here. All right, what are we looking for in vengeance? Damage to shielded enemies. So we are looking for attack speed increase, damage to player increase, and damage to shielded enemies. That's what we're looking for. Uh, attack speed goes up to 2%. Per Wait, it's... All right, hold on. Let me find out. So it's 2%, 6%, and 1.5% on damage to players. So 2% for attack speed. We got damage to demons. That might even been a max roll. 1.5% on attack speed. We need to see 2% there. Damage loss of suffering. Terrible. 5% on demons. Damage to shielded enemies goes up to 6%. There's 5%. Now... Attack speed 1.5%. Come on, man. Where are the max rolls at, bro? There's a max roll for freaking damage to demons, though. Maybe we just need to change up what we're rolling on because that seems like... A oh, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, we could keep that here. That way, the odds are better for the other ones. I don't know why I never thought of that. All right, so yeah, this is actually a max roll on damage to players at 1.5%. So we can't roll that anymore. We can roll. We shouldn't roll damage to demons either. We're looking for damage to shield at this point. Either shield either shield or attack speed at 2% is what we're looking for. Goodness gracious, bro. All right, 5% on damage. All right, there's a 1% on attack speed. Come on, we need to see, oh my gosh, 5% on shield. 3%, that's a terrible roll. 2% on attack speed. So now we need 6% on shield. And if I get 5.5%, I might keep that. All right, come on, where's the shield at? Show up. Freaking shield damage. Damage to shielded enemies. Damage to demons. Another max roll. Not what we're looking for, though. Damage to demons again. Damage to demons again. There's only three other options. Damage to shields by 4.5%. There's 5%. All right, we need to see 6%. Okay, there's 5.5. We got three rolls left. If we don't get the three rolls, I'm just going to keep the 5.5 for now anyway. All right, come on, baby. 6%. No love. All right, so now we have... We got Wildfire, Jolt, Barrier, and Vengeance. And now I am looking for... Let's see. We don't want Ravager. We want Tremor. Okay, yeah. Tremor. And I think I'm going to go with Primary Attacks. Oh, actually, no. With Tremor, we are going to go with all the damage resistance. Yeah, and actually, I'm probably going to stack two times on uh, Tremor. All right, so we need resistances. Actually, I should have kept that now that I think about it. All right, Primary Attacks have a chance. Let's go ahead and keep two of the ones we don't want. So no, let's get one more that we don't want here. Primary attacks reduce. All right, so now we should be able to roll more resistances. Let's see. Continual damage. That's a 5.5. We need 6% though. That is 5.5 again. Where's the 6% at? All right, we got a max roll on that. Let's go ahead and get the max roll on this as well. All right, come on. We need to see resistances. Stun resistance 6%. That's a max roll also. And now we only have continual damage taken, which we need as a max roll as well continual damage taken by three percent we need to say okay 5.5 percent we'll go ahead and call actually let's roll one more because the six is right here and no it's not but it's right here come on oh come on it's right here though come on yes all right ship it all right let's go ahead and grab let's go ahead and grab a little bit more trimmers because that's what i want to go with or do i want to go with wildfire since i have a lot more extra ones let me see. Wildfire just increases my overall damage. Was eh, no, let's go with Trimmer. I want the stun resistance, honestly. I think 20 should be enough. Hey Will 20 be enough, Charcy? Please hook your boy up. Do you got what I need, Charcy? You got what I need. All right, we do not actually we want not back to not be there. Continual damage at 5%. No, thank you. There we go. 5.5. We do not need that one, so we'll go ahead and save that. And we'll go ahead and save this one as well. Let's see here. Now. We got knockback resistance at 3%. That is junk. 5.5 on stun resistance. All right, we'll go ahead and keep the stun resistance. 3% on knockback. Come on, baby. Knockback at 3% back to back. Yo, we need to see 6% on the knockback. Come on, give me the resistances, baby. Continual damage taken less. Okay. 4% from 4.5. We got to see at least 5.5%. Okay, there we go. 6% on continual damage. Now we need to see knockback. Not back at 5.5. All right, we got seven more to see a 6% not back or stun resistance. Oh, 5% on not back. Should we have moved to stun resistance? No, let's stay on not back. Actually, let's go ahead and switch to stun resistance because I'm feeling the stun resistance coming out. 
Come on, baby. 6% me right here. Primary attacks. And last but not least is stun resistance by 5%. All right. That pretty much does it. So not bad. Actually, it only took us 10 minutes to roll over all of what we wanted. And that is basically went wildfire on... I mean, it doesn't matter which armor piece you go on. So we went wildfire, we went with primary attack, all skill damage, and critical hit damage increased, which really I kind of wanted to change that. We got slow resistance, duration of beneficial effects, and cheat death increased. We also got maximum life, block chance, and fear resistance. We got attack speed, damage done to players, and damage to shielded enemies increased. We got continual damage, stun resistance, and knockback resistance, and the same for these three. So, very interesting. We are popping all sorts of sets now. So, this should be interesting fight. times, do man. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. And good luck on y'all's reforged stones as well. I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.